In this section, I want to wrap up how to use errors and to have error handling in your Ruby applications. So we started off with basic error handling syntax, but then we also talked about how this would be a really bad way to implement it. Then we got into a little bit better error handling, and now I want to get into what you would actually do in a real life application. And so I always like to finish sections off with some practical implementation. So that's what I wanna do in this one. So the very first thing we're gonna do is, uh, well, first talk about what our program is going to do. We're gonna create a method called logger. The logger is going to be responsible for uh, dumping all of our errors into a file every time they happen. And I created that file right here called airlog. There's nothing in it right now, but uh, I'm gonna show you how, as the program runs, we can uh, have errors automatically logged in there so that we can go reference them anytime we need. This is something in a real life Rails application that uh, you're gonna be going through air logs and you may wanna create your own custom air logger at some point if you're working on a specific feature or you really wanna monitor something. So let's create this method. It's gonna, it's called, it's gonna be called air logger and I'm just gonna pass a, uh, a argument called e for error in it and I'm gonna say file open and now we just pass the path that we're gonna use which will in this case is gonna be error handling lessons error log dot text because I'm gonna be running uh, this program from the root of the educational Ruby directory and we want to, because we're going to be using uh, files, if you remember back to our last section, when we pass in the A option, this is going to append. So I'm going to say file here, and then I'm going to put whatever we take from this uh, file open call, and I'm going to say puts E end and end. So it's a very basic method uh, it has one argument and the argument is going to be the error and then we're going to open the file and append to it and put in this error message. So pretty basic especially if you went through what we already built out with the uh, with the file section last time. So I'm going to say now I'm going to build our program. So I'm going to say begin puts and I'll say nil plus 10 and then I'll build our rescue block and here I'm gonna call our air logger method and I'm gonna pass in a string and I'll say air and then do some string interpolation where I uh, pass in um, the e value and uh, I also need to come up here and uh, what we want to catch is the standard air and we're gonna do a hash rocket and say uh, we're gonna store this in the variable e and that's what we're calling right here and then i'm also going to because usually when you're doing logging you want to grab the value of when that happens so we're gonna put a timestamp in there yep. okay so this should work let me uh this is called printing errors so i'm gonna say ruby and the directory is error handling lessons printing errors okay and let's see if that printed go error log and there you go you can see that it put it in there so it said error undefined method plus for nil nil class and then it gives the timestamp so now let me switch up the error I'm gonna do this one now and now open our air log and we can see now it's switched to a different operator method and now let's do a completely different error we'll do one like we did right here where we divide by zero so I'll say eight divide by zero come here and now uh, open the air log up and you can see air divided by zero at right here so this is pretty neat this is a a really practical way of being able to integrate uh air handling and air management so this is a lot better way 
then some people sometimes implement this, uh, like we talked about early on. Sometimes you'll have some processes up here that occasionally will run into errors. And so people think, oh, it's the easy thing to do would just be to put a rescue block in there and then have it continue. But that's really a bad idea. What you want to use begin and rescue blocks for is to be able to capture errors and uh, log them and use them in ways so that you can monitor your application, not to just kind of work around some bugs that you don't know how to fix. If you have bugs in here, you need to fix them before they get to this point. So this is how you can create a full air logger in your application, how you can create custom methods that open files and append values, and then run all of it through the built-in Ruby air handling system.